Jennifer, it's a pleasure to meet you and also to welcome you here to the UK as you prepare for a night that all fighters dream of, to challenge for the undisputed championship of the world, all the marbles against the world's best in Katie Taylor. Before we talk about this weekend and what's to come, first of all, how are you? I'm and how good. excited are you to be I'm, here in the UK I'm for very, the first time? This is my first time in England. I'm very excited and I'm, I'm enjoying every minute. Talk to us about your story. Very proudly flying the flag for El Paso, Texas, USA, of course, a, a mother or two as well. And it was actually the birth of your second child, which meant you had to vacate the IBF world right. title, wasn't it? Um, that you'd held for many years. That must have been an interesting period of your life. It, it was. Um, I enjoyed being the featherweight champion. Um, and But I jumped at the opportunity to be a two-division world champion, especially to fight the best of the best in the world. And I'm grateful for this opportunity. I'm excited and I've prepared my entire life for this chance. Well, you moved up, as you say, to 135 pounds and you got your first victory at lightweight, didn't you, last February? And you were granted, granted that mandatory status. What have been the main differences, do you believe, you've seen physically in your ring strengths and maybe at this weight as well? What's been the biggest differences and the biggest challenge up at lightweight? Um, so, to be honest, I'm actually coming down in weight because I gained so much weight through my pregnancy. So, for me, it's not much of a difference. I, whoever I face in the ring, I'm ready. And I feel, I don't feel like I'm weaker. I feel just as strong. And it's been my time to move up for a long time. You're very experienced, had a decorated amateur career. Just reading off here, six national titles on your resume as well. And of course, that IBF World Featherweight title that you held for, for five years. You've been at the top of the mountain and winning a world title will certainly be your proudest in-ring achievement to this date. But this opportunity to call yourself the undisputed champion of the world doesn't come around very often for a lot of fighters. Definitely and not. There's no extra motivation needed, is there, for this I, weekend? I mean, this is huge. You don't get bigger than this and especially to fight the best of the best in the world and to get the opportunity for um, a unified two division world champion. I'm, I'm so excited and so honored and it, this is life changing moment for me and I'm ready. How proud are you as well as a female fighter with how far the sport has come? You know, Katie very much seen as a trailblazer uh, who sits at the top of the pyramid and has, you know, played a pivotal role in the emergence of women's boxing to the level it is at now. Right. And, this is by far the strongest position it's been in, isn't it? I think it's fair Absolutely. to say. And to be on a card like this, chief support in front of 20,000, that tells you all you need to know. I, it's just amazing. And Kitty has done um, a lot for this sport, especially for female boxing. I started back when it was difficult just to get competition. And I've followed her career, especially when she won the gold medal. And she's done, she's done amazing things for the sport. She's been a good role model. She's been a good classy athlete and I'm privileged to be on the same stage as her but I've worked hard and I've also had my share of I guess trailblazing like you said um, like I said I was on the women's world championship team in 2001 the first ever women's world championship and I'm I'm going to fi finish my career with a bang and this is the biggest you can get I think what's great to see is you're very much here in the UK to win this fight you know yes, you're not sir. getting caught up in the occasion there's no chance of that and your team have been saying look we've put together ingenious strategies yes, of how we're going to beat katie taylor this weekend and your coach was saying look no matter what power experience boxing iq katie has jennifer han can match it absolutely and i've shown that in the past with my previous fighters but unfortunately i have been um on the big stage like katie so this time i'll get to show the whole world and that's the confidence that's needed, though, is that you, you have to fully yes. believe in yourself when you're coming into a, an opportunity like this. Yes, absolutely. And uh, what are your thoughts on Katie as a fighter? You must respect her. Absolutely, the, the I, do. I have the utmost respect for her. She's got lots of experience. She's um, very uh, talented. She has speed. She has power. She's been able to adapt to a lot of her opponents. So I do have a lot of respect for her, but um, so do I. Katie has said she's ex expecting a very tough fight from you. And I, I know, I, you know she's very determined to keep on to all of her belts right. for as long as she possibly can. And she wants all the biggest fights that are there for her. You have highlighted in the past that if Katie is looking past you and she is looking towards these big fights, that's a dangerous place to be. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not here for nothing. I came all this way for a purpose. And like I said in the past, she better enjoy holding on to those belts while she has them. How do you believe you will win this fight? When you, when you visualize it in your mind, in what ways do you visualize Jennifer Hamm beating Katie Taylor this weekend? So I've visualized 
strategies. I mean, we've worked on so many strategies. I don't plan on staying in front of her and letting her fight her Katie fight. I plan on making it difficult, making her very uncomfortable, and I plan getting my arms raised. And what do you believe the fans should in on the zone around the world and those in attendance? This will be, you believe, another brilliant showcase of yes. just how good women's boxing has become. Oh yeah, this is, I mean, we're gonna showcase the best of the best. And the new? And the new, absolutely. Jennifer, thanks for your time. We wish Thank you the very you. best of luck. What a great fight this is. Thank you. We'll see you on Saturday.